Hello friends, welcome to another video of Hybrid Academy. In today's session, we will learn how to make a good resume or we can say a beginner's guide to a resume that wins interviews. I'm sure most of us must have given interviews and to appear for the interview, a resume is must. So what exactly is a resume? Let's take an example. Let's assume you visit a supermarket and you wish to buy some products. One of those products is a soap. Now, we have been using soap since our childhood and we know some brands. But suppose you do not get that brand in that store, but you get 50 different brands. So what will be the criteria to pick up a particular soap from the shelf that this seems to be good? That will be the wrapper, that will be the packaging of that product. If you like the packaging, that will be your first choice to pick it up. Then you will read the contents and if you like the content, you will buy it. If you won't, you will try another product for which you will like the packaging. So let's say a resume is your packaging. A resume is your wrapper, which gives the first impression to the recruiter whether he should call you for the interview or not. And again, the first appearance of your resume is the one which will get it shortlisted and then the recruiter will read the content. And if the content is good, you will be called for the interview. So a resume will help you to clear at least the first level to get a job. Now, as we know what exactly is a resume, let's see how to make a good resume. For most of the job seekers, a good resume is what stands between them and their dream job. If we get the resume right, we will be getting replies from almost every company we apply to. However, if the resume game is weak, we will end up sitting around for weeks, maybe even for months before we even get a single response for the interview. So as we discussed, resume of any candidate is just like the packaging wrapper of a product, which gives the first impression about the product or candidate. And if the packaging of the product lying in the mall rack is good, chances of getting it picked increases many folds. So now you are probably wondering how to write a good resume that leads the HR manager inviting you to the interview. Let's now learn the right way to make a good resume. For your convenience of understanding, we have divided the complete session in four chapters as follows. So in the current chapter, that is chapter one, we will learn the right way to make a good resume. We'll learn about the resume layout and how to update the contact information, which is the most important part of the resume. Apart from that, we have divided the rest of the sections of resume in multiple chapters of chapter 2, chapter 3 and chapter 4, which we will cover after chapter 1. So let's see what is the right way to make a good resume. Before starting the process of filling the resume, we need to make sure that it will look good. After all, recruiters first notice the looks of the resume rather than what it contains. So this is the best chance to make the first impression great. This also includes picking the right resume format and doing the resume layout. So how should you format your resume? Broadly, there are three types of resume formats. The first is the reverse chronological resume format. This is the most popular resume format among recruiters and as such the right format for most job seekers. Second is the functional resume format. This format focuses more on skills rather than work experience and is useful if you are just getting started with your career and have little or no experience in the field. The third one is the combination resume format. This format is a great choice for experienced job seekers with a diverse skill set. It is useful if you are applying for a role that requires expertise in three to four different fields and you want to show all that in your resume. For example, you are applying for a senior management role and the requirements are expertise in management, sales and software development. So which one do you go for? Being the most popular in 99% of cases, the reverse chronological resume format is most suitable. It is also a format most HR managers are used to. 
hence we will focus mainly on reverse chronological resume a reverse chronological order means that the latest work experience is listed first this is the most popular resume format and is ideal for people with plenty of work experience that is relevant to the position they are interested in Moving further, let's discuss the resume layout. The layout of resume is the first thing a job recruiter notices about your resume. So just review the resume once and see whether it fits with the below questions. Does it look organized or cluttered? Is it too short or too long? Is it boring and easy to ignore? Is it reader friendly? is it attention grabbing one more thing we need to consider in terms of resume layout is whether it is a traditional looking resume or something a bit more modern as discussed here are the examples of resume layouts the first one is the traditional looking resume and the second one is the modern creative looking resume for career in a more traditional industry like legal banking finance etc the first option of traditional resume is better however for application to a technical or it company where imagination and innovation are valued a more modern or creative resume would prove better now let's discuss the last topic but the very important topic of this chapter that is contact information Now as we are done with the format or layout of resume let's talk about what's really most important in terms of resume content The first thing we want to do when filling out the contents of the resume is to add the correct contact information This is a straightforward yet critical section Even if we get everything else right we are not going to go far if the HR manager can't get in touch just because the email ID is misspelled right so please make sure to double check and even triple check the contact information section and make sure everything mentioned in the section is correct and up to date moving further let's see what contact information should be included in a resume often people get confused between the must have information and the optional information So the must have contact information should include your first name and last name, your contact number, email address or email ID and make sure that it is not an unprofessional email ID or unprofessional email address. Your physical address and your current location. So suppose your physical address is of your hometown but you're residing in any other city, so make sure to mention both of them separately and mention that your current address is in the same city where you are applying for the job. In case if you are located in an area which is different from the company location company will have to sponsor the relocation so that is the reason this information should be mentioned in your resume optional information includes your professional title it can be your position word for word or desired job think digital marketing specialist or junior data scientist etc then optional information also include linkedin profile If you have an up to date profile that can add value to your application make sure that you include the link other social media platforms so if you have a published portfolio online like for developers this can be github for designers this can be platform like behance or dribble and for writers it can be their personal blog etc so these are like optional things which should be included and finally if you own a website or a blog an online presence like a website or blog etc that positions the expertise in the mentioned field if yes please make sure to include it so in this chapter that is chapter 1 we have learned the right way to make a good resume we have learned about resume layout and mentioning the contact information in the next chapter that is chapter 2 we will learn about resume headline whether it should be summary or objective we will learn about how to mention the work experience and also we'll learn how to mention the achievements 
please stay connected and do watch the next session because that is also an important part of your resume building and overall all these four chapters will definitely help you to make a good resume thank you for watching the video if you like the content please like the video and share the video with your family and friends so that they also get benefited with this knowledge and information please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos thank you take care and stay safe